Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share a quick and easy baklava recipe with you. As I've got 3,000 subscribers, thank you to each and every one of you. I thought I'll make a little sweet dish for everyone. Keep on watching and see how simple this recipe is. First we're gonna make the sugar syrup. I'm gonna add one cup of water. And I've got some sugar. All the measurements of the recipe has got, are going to be on, in the description box below. Just give it a little stir and bring it to a boil. We're going to melt the sugar and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. A few lemon drops will go into this. Just about half a teaspoon. This is so the syrup doesn't crystallize. We're going to let this cook down on a low heat and we're going to start prepping the sheets for the baklava. I've opened one of the packs of the pastry. As you can see, they are paper thin. What we're gonna do is now cut this to, so it can fit into our pastry case. We're gonna check our syrup now as well. We're just gonna let it drop from the spoon. As you can see, it's dropping really quickly. So we're gonna let it cook for another couple of minutes and then we'll see. It looks done to me. We'll see the last drop. If it drops after quite a long time, then it's done. That is completely done now. I'm gonna take this off the heat and set it aside. I've laid the pastry on a chopping board and now I'm gonna use this baking pan to mark how much of the size of the pastry. I think that would be perfect. We just need to cut the side off. So just Cut it all the way through. First of all, I'm going to butter the pan. Just lightly all, butter it all over the pan. Like this. You don't need too much. It's a non-stick pan, but just to make sure the baklava comes out easy. So I'm just going to put butter it. That's fine. And I'm going to start laying. I'm going to take two pieces at a time. We're going to put about 16 at the bottom and then the rest will go on top. You need a big thicker base. So that's fine. Just going to add a tiny bit of the butter or the ghee. Just dab it all over the pastry. And the pieces that we, the extra pieces that we cut on the side, we're going to use this so it doesn't go to waste exactly the same again guys we're gonna make like two layers of it then we'll put the bigger sheets on top so this so we are, we've added four pieces just keep on counting them and this is the sixth pieces now i'm gonna just add the ghee again Guys, this is not actually ghee. This is what I've made myself. I've melted the butter and just put a tablespoon of just normal chapati flour or plain flour and let it cook for about 15 minutes and then you'll get this clarified butter. This is the best to use for the baklava. So I'm going to put the pieces, half of the pieces now on here. And I'm going to repeat the process until I get 16 sheets at the bottom. Guys, I've got the perfect amount of sheets I want now. You just press it lightly and put a bit of the butter on or the ghee. And now I'm going to add the pistachio nuts. You can use how much you want. It's totally up to you. Up to I'm going to put quite a generous layer on because my family likes quite a bit of the pistachios in there. So try to get it spread out. I've spread it out how I wanted it. I'm just gonna drop a few blobs of butter on it. So when I put the sheet on, it doesn't move. And now it's repeating the process until we finish with the dough. I'm just gonna put the butter on again. And the half piece is gone on top, exactly what we've done before. Where you're not 
discarding any of the pastry and you're using it on. These are the last few layers now. These are the half sheets that go on top. And then I've kept two of the full size sheets for right on top. So it makes it look nicer. These are the last sheets that go on top now, guys. Just put in. I'm gonna use the knife. I'm just gonna tuck these in. Because I'm gonna cut this now, I'm gonna make a diamond kind of shape. You can make any shape you want, it's totally up to you. But we're gonna do the first cut in the middle, one from one end to the other. And make sure you go all the way to the bottom of the pan. And now you're gonna start cutting this. You can make it as big or as small as you want. I've cut the one side guys, what I'm going to do is just lightly butter the pastry so it's easier for me to cut the other side to make it to the diamond shape because the pastry is so dry and just leaves up. So just a tiny bit, just try to tap in slowly, see as you, the pastry will move. Now we're going to do exactly the same in the middle, first cut. This is the fiddly part. Just slowly do that one. Guys, this is been cut now. What I'm gonna do, just pour this butter on the pastry. Make sure you get all the edges. The pastry gets quite dry. I know there's a lot of butter here, but you eat it now and then. It's not an everyday dish. Make sure you preheat your oven. All the measurements and everything will be in the description bar below. You can check it out. And at the end of the video as well, guys. Just make sure you get every corner of the pastry. Guys, I've used half of the ghee, not all of it. And I'm just gonna, with my brush, just tap it in all the places that are a bit dry. And just spread the butter slowly. As you can see, the pastry won't move now because it's saturated with the ghee. Make sure you get inside as well so the ghee goes all the way down and cooks from the bottom up. I'm going to let this sit for about 10 minutes and then we're going to add it to the oven. Guys, in the oven, I've put the shelf sort of in the media, in middle. And I'm going to add this now. Put it in, in now. For about half an hour on 180 and then I'm going to turn it down to about 150 another further 15 minutes but after half an hour I'll show you how it looks guys this is nearly ready now I'm going to switch the oven and leave the baklava in there and then uh, for about five minutes and then we're going to put the syrup on I've taken the baklava out now and I've just heated the syrup until it's about like room temperature I'm going to add this with a ladle Make sure you get all the edges, like we put the butter, because there's no sugar in the baklava before adding the syrup. So you need to have it nice and sweet. I've added the syrup. That's the amount that's left over. I'm not gonna add this. I think there's plenty enough. We're gonna leave this to cool down now for a good couple of hours, and then we'll serve it. Guys, this is ready now. I'm just gonna go through the layers again because I put the sugar syrup and it's hardened so making sure that is easy to take out so as I've taken one piece out and I'm taking the next one out as you can see that looks really tasty guys our baklava is ready now I've just sprinkled some of the fine pistachios that, that I've done just over it it's just optional totally up to you and I made some green tea it goes lovely with this today I'm going to introduce somebody in my channel and that's going to be my eldest son Rehan he's going to try all the food I make now and tell you how it is yeah you can 
See how crispy it is? It's cooked all the way through. You could use a knife as well, just to cut it because it's quite crispy at the bottom. Now he's going to taste it and let you know how it is. How is it, Rehan? Amazing. So we got a thumbs up for Rehan. <laughs> and I want thumbs up from everybody, please, for this delicious recipe. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Allah.